Family, I don't feel like recording. It's raining outside, it's pouring outside, and I don't feel like doing an episode. However, the show must go on. So today, I'm going to give you some tangible strategies that you can apply to whenever you feel like you're in the space or in the place to where you don't want to record or you don't want to put out content. This, my friend, is the episode for you. Welcome to the Your Podcast Mentor Show with Jonathan Jones. Here, you will learn how to start, launch, and monetize your podcast. In addition to hearing the latest trends and the latest and greatest things happening in the podcast industry. Are you ready? What's going on, my friend? What's going on, my friend? Welcome to the Your Podcast Mentor Show with your host, Jonathan Jones. And the focus of this show is ultimately to help you establish your platform so that you can profit with purpose from your podcast. How do we do that? We talk about uh, launch strategies. We talk about starting tips. And then lastly, but certainly not least, we show you how to monetize your podcast and get to the bag. But before we dive in today, I want to just give you a backdrop of how I've been feeling, right? And, And I've been down and today was like a funk. I don't know what it is, but always being honest open and transparent with you on this podcast, as I've said before, and as I'm going to say again. So I want to just throw that out there and let you know that's how I've I've been feeling. But we're going to get into the podcast news. And then from there, I'm going to talk a little bit about what you can do if you're ever in a podcast funk. All right. So let me say this. The podcast news is ultimately sponsored by Afros and Audio podcast festival it's going to be november 13th through the 14th okay so make sure to hit the link down in the show notes because we have a link as well as we have a promo code where i'll take 10 percent off on me if you use the promo code all right so make sure to hit that link and then make sure to uh type in that promo code and family i've been doing some research right because you know i've got to pull the podcast news got to give it to you hot and ready like little caesars and One thing that I've been hearing people talk about, of course, is like Spotify, right? Spotify rolling out, doing the video, uh, doing the video podcasting for Anchor. And it's like, whoop, whoop, whoop. People are getting excited. But one thing I did a little bit of research. And just like my dad used to tell me, son, don't count your chickens before they hatch. And basically what he was letting me let what he was letting me know is, son, don't get excited too soon because uh, the host of the Anxious Truth podcast. Right. They said that Spotify's video podcast is a dumpster fire. They said ultimately it took six days for the podcast episode to finally get live. And then they said the audience was without audio. They were without video. They were without being able to hear or tune into their favorite podcast, they were not pleased. Long story short, Spotify, come on. We got to pick it up. We got to get it together. So let's continue to improve that. All right. The next thing is, if you ever have trouble sleeping, there's something called Snoozecast. And Snoozecast, they have episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And one thing that's dope about them is they will play these stories for you to where you can be relaxed and you can be soothed. And then you can get a good night's sleep, right? So this is the podcast that if you're that big of a podcast lover, tap in, snoozecast, wherever you listen to podcasts, you can pass out listening to stories and lullaby type stuff, all right? So tap in there. And then for my for my uh, my podcasters, our aspiring podcasters who are doing interviews, or if you like the latest and greatest tech, Rode, right? Rode, the, the, uh, the company that produced the Rodecaster Pro, and a lot of other audio equipment and uh, just helping you improve the overall podcast experience. They released an AI Micro, which ultimately is, is a new ultra compact dual channel interface for recording high quality audio to a mobile device or a computer with ease. All right, that's Rode. They just dropped the AI Micro. So tap in and, and check that out and that wraps up the podcast news for today as i said before my friend is brought to you by afros and audio podcast festival going down november 13th through the 14th so be sure to tap in and you will not want to miss it we're we're going we're going deep 
and we're covering so many things. I'm on a podcast panel called How to Secure the Bag with Podcasting. So definitely are going to hold no insight or no information from you. So make sure to click that link down in the show notes for the Afros and Audio Festival and get that promo code to get the 10% off. Now to today's topic. How do we get out of our podcast funk, right? And the reason I want to talk about this is because in this space of social media and in this space of podcasting, honestly, whatever industry you want to apply it to, whatever industry you want to apply it to, we will compare. It, it's just natural. If, if I'm not careful, I'll begin to compare myself to other podcasters other podcast coaches, other podcast programs. It's just the natural thing that we can get caught up in. And by doing this, this then begins to play on our psyche and then begins to take us down. I have a brief story for you. Story time. So John used to play a little bit of basketball, okay? High school, I was on the JV team. Didn't play that much, but our team was undefeated. You know what I'm saying? I got to play a little here and there. And then I went and played junior college ball. Right? We won national championship. I played a little bit more there. But the interesting thing about it, I realized that I always found the opportunity to compare myself to other players. I was like, well, I'm running fat. I'm making a faster time when I'm running. I'm lifting more weights in the gym. I'm performing better in the classroom. So I felt that that should help me get more playtime. Friends, the reason I want to just share this story with you is this. If you're in a funk, the first thing I want you to do is this. I want you to, I want you to self-assess. John, what do you mean self-assess? What are you talking about? I want you to not compare your success to anybody else's, not compare how many episodes you've put out, not compare what content you're talking about versus their content, not compare how many followers you have versus how many followers they have. I want you just to look at your own content. I want you to look at your own social media channel. And I want you to begin to assess where can you improve, right? Maybe it, maybe for you, it might be wanting to come up with more innovative and more creative topics. But the first thing that we have to do if we realize that we're in a funk, we have to self-assess. Because today when I was sitting here and I was in this room and like i said i was drinking this nice thick cup of eggnog southern comfort eggnog it's so good with the vanilla spice it's so good i didn't put anything in it just eggnog right and i was sitting in the room was dark and i just began to think about other people and then the moment when i began to think about other people i stopped thinking about myself and when you start to look at everybody else's wins, you start to look at everybody else's highlights. Now you're doing what I call scoreboard watching. And if you're scoreboard watching, you're not in the game. Okay, so first we have to self-assess. If you're in a podcast funk, you have to self-assess. What am I feeling? Why am I feeling this? Why am I feeling that the content I'm putting out is not good enough? Why am I feeling that I don't have enough quote unquote followers, right? We have to self-assess because when we self-assess, this brings the focus back to us. Okay, that's the first thing, okay? The second thing we have to do is we have to shift our environment. Shift our environment, shift our environment, shift our environment. I learned when I was playing basketball and as I continue to compare myself to everybody all the time, why aren't I getting playtime? Why am I doing this? Why am I not doing that? What about this? What about that? Me, 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 compared to everybody else. 
the thing that I realized was I was in my own head. We want to change our environment. One thing that I've realized is really beneficial for me. If I'm in a funk and I'm sitting inside in my office and I'm, conf I'm, I'm allowing myself to be confined to my own space. I'll get out and I'll go for a walk around the neighborhood. Maybe just take a block. But when you shift your environment, that's when you begin to welcome in creativity. When you shift your environment, that's when you get to a space into a place to where you're seeing things that you're not seeing on a normal day to day basis. For all you know, seeing a flower could spark something in your mind for you to say, oh, wow. Let me just talk about how flowers make me feel. Let me talk about what flowers represent to me. Let me just go outside and let me do some mindful, deep breathing exercises as I walk around. And what we're now doing is we're disrupting our normal day-to-day -day train of thought. And when you disrupt your normal day-to-day -day train of thought, now you're going to get something different from what you've gotten in the past, right? So we have to make sure that we shift our environment because when you begin to shift your environment, now you're taking action towards change. You're taking a step towards change. Another thing I do to shift my environment during lunch breaks I warm up my lunch and what I used to do is I go in my media room and I watch episodes of All American on Netflix, right? Or I watch a half an episode and just relax and just eat. And that, that is a slight shift of environment for me. But then I said, well, let me, let me up the ante. So then I start taking my lunch outside on the patio and just sitting there, no phone, no technology, Past couple of days, I haven't even been wearing my, my Apple watch. But just going out there and enjoying lunch while enjoying the elements. Shift your environment. Because when you begin to go out and you begin to put yourself intentionally in different environments, you're allowing yourself the space the time and the opportunity for you just to unpack and get the full experience of the day that's happened thus far. All right, and then the last thing is you wanna begin to position yourself in the buddy system. John, what's the buddy system? Here it goes, y'all, another story. You know I gotta tell the story, gotta tell the story. So a lot of people talk about accountability and things like that all the time. And as I return the clock, as I turn back the clock to when I was playing basketball for that junior college, I had a coach. His name was Coach John Feldman. And one thing about my coach was he would pair us up with another guy on the team that we'd be responsible for. So ultimately, I would have to Call my friend, say, hey, man, what's going on? You 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 uh, you uh knocked your homework out yet? Yeah, John knocked my homework out. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, how, how you feeling? Everything good over there? You know, just doing a touch base, just checking in to see what was going on. He did that so that we can build a deeper relationship, a deeper connection with some guys that we normally didn't connect with. But the thing that I learned from that was I ended up having a teammate who became a brother for me. And his name is Chibuzo Ilanu. And, and the thing that I love about Buzo most was Buzo was a guy who would shoot me straight all the time. Okay. <laughs> oh man. When we'd be on road trips and I would start complaining about the food, he was, he'd be like, man, shut up. It's a free meal. Why are you complaining? You're not even going to eat it all anyway. And I was like, man, yes, I am. And then I wouldn't eat all the food. You know how you have that one friend that can say certain things to you that everybody can't say to you? That one friend, when they know that you're down in the dumps, they'll come over 
and they'll push you out the bed. They'll open the blinds and open the curtains and get the light shining on your face to make sure that you get out and make sure that you shift something. You want to have that lifeline to where you can call somebody. And I called my dad earlier today, actually. I was like, Dad, I'm not feeling it today. He said, son, I'll call you back in a little bit. He hit me back. We hopped on the phone. We cranked it out. But this life is too serious and too scary to try to do it alone. What are you saying, John? I'm saying get somebody that will hold you accountable to your goals, to your podcast goals, to your purpose goals. Because ultimately, I tell my mastermind all the time, I feel like a, a podcast is just a vehicle to get you to your goals. It's just a vehicle. But at the end of the day, if we're not putting gas in the vehicle, if we're not washing the vehicle, if we're not getting the vehicle serviced, if we're not taking intentional time to do what we need to do to have upkeep on the vehicle, then the vehicle will be no good. So, friends, I want you to understand today, if you're ever in a funk, this is the Cliff Notes part. I'm going to recap and then run it backwards. If you're ever in a podcast funk, the third thing I said is you want to make sure that you tap into the buddy system. You have somebody that you can reach out to if you're not feeling right. Somebody that will talk to you and pour life into you to get you encouraged and get you fired up. That's the first one. Well, that was the third one, but I'm recapping. The second one was you have to change your environment. Like I said, I went outside. I, I went for a walk. I took some time. I hopped in the car. I drove to the bank just to take out some money. Just to disrupt my day-to-day -day environment. When you disrupt your day-to-day, -day, you create the opportunity for more opportunities, and ultimately to further cultivate your mind. And then the first thing is you have to self-assess. You got to self-assess. You have to be real with yourself. Am I comparing myself to other people? If I am, well, let me unfollow some people and let me analyze where I am right now in my journey. I put out five episodes, good for me, all right? I took the time and I grew my page, the following, to 50 followers, good for me. It's not about anyone else. This is your journey. So when you find yourself in the dump, or if you don't feel like producing content, I implore you to apply these three steps I just gave you. And if it's helpful, let me know in the comments if you're watching on YouTube, right? Or even if you have another tip that you would like to share with me, what do you do when you're feeling down the dumps? Comment below on YouTube uh, because I would love to hear your thoughts. I would love to hear your opinions. Um, and I would love to connect with you on YouTube. I'm very active on YouTube and I'm also very active on Good Pods. Because there I know that we have the opportunity to further dive deeper and, and further have conversations about each and every episode. But family, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to have all the links down the show note, the links for the YouTube. I'm going to have a link for uh, where you can connect with me on Good Pods and join our exclusive community for the Your Podcast Mentor Show. But then I'm going to have another link to where you can send in your question. You can submit your question to be featured on podcast Q&A with JJ right here on the Your Podcast Mentor Show. But family, remember, right? Remember, I'm going to go close. Uh-oh, I'm close. Remember, okay? Remember that if at the end of the day, you're not where you want to be, it's not anyone else's fault. It's your fault. But the great thing about it is you can change that by self-assessing, by shifting your environment, and ultimately by getting a buddy. 
and putting them in the buddy system. Until next time, family, peace and God bless. It's your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones. And the focus of this show is ultimately to help you establish your platform so that you can profit f- with purpose from your podcast. See y'all next time. Thank you.